welcome to the week in truth number 20 the corbin brothers let's start with jeremy jeremy's a very quiet man isn't he quiet as a mouse you never hear a peep out of him not a peep so in 2017 in 2017 when his own party were working to sabotage him did he tell anybody I mean, sure he knew, right, because people must have said to him, Jeremy, I'm a bit worried about what's going on. But he didn't tell his members, he didn't tell his supporters, he just kept quiet. Very, very, very quiet. Quiet man, Jeremy Corbyn. Keeps an allotment. Later on, we're to find out that 50% of the complaints made about Labour Party members being anti-Semitic, were just made by one person. And literally hundreds of Labour Party members were suspended from the Labour Party, mostly supporters of Jeremy Corbyn. Corbynistas, they called them. Do you think Jeremy didn't know anything about this? No, of course he knew. And people wrote to him and complained that they'd been suspended and all the rest of it. So what did Jeremy do then? Did he tell his members... Did he appeal to his supporters to help him out? No, he was very quiet. He didn't say a word. Not a beep. Then half of his own party and the horrible Blairites with their shiny suits told him that they were going to leave the party unless he did a U-turn on Brexit and put in a policy where he was going to insist on a second referendum. And I wonder if he figured out that this was going to uh, lead him to lose an election. Do you think he might have worked that out? It seems a bit obvious to me. But what did he say? What did he say to his leaders? And what did he say to his members? He said nothing. He's a very quiet man, that Jeremy Corbyn. Very, very quiet. He's out with his uh, vegetables in his allotment with his cucumbers, saying nothing. So, of course, then he lost that election. And lots of people said, Jeremy, you must set up your own party. You've been stabbed in the back by the Labour Party, by your own bloody party, man. Are you going to set up your own party? No. He's he's a very quiet man, that Corbyn. And he stayed in the Labour Party. Being an MP, being very quiet. Meanwhile, Jeremy Corbyn's brother, Piers, was becoming something of a rising star in the truth movement. He started appearing on Mark Windows, Windows on the World programmes. Then the next thing you know, he's arrested at an anti-lockdown protest. Amazing that, isn't it? And the next thing you see is on telly with Piers Morgan, looking like a muppet, like a mad scientist. Was he doing the truth movement proud? Or did he look like a frizzy-haired old nut job? Hmm. So, you see, can you really blame me for starting to wonder about the Corbyn brothers? You see, Jeremy... Jeremy has really destroyed the Labour Party from within. And meanwhile, the other one is destroying the truth movement. So, well done, brothers. Working for GCHQ, the pair of you, I should think. Tatty bye.